him. He really does love his Colossus. And he has another one coming. And by the time that one's out, he should almost be finished with his um, extended thermal lance. And this observer is finally being put to use for his 25 minerals and 75 gas he used up to be created. And he does actually have an expansion down here. I didn't really notice that at first. And just a pile on an expansion with this observer. Not notice that, unfortunately. And hopefully for duckload's sake, he will expand very soon. I'll check the units tab. Six zealots to nine zealots. An immortal colossus. Two stalkers to four stalkers. Oh, now he has a colossus out. And century to a century. So I see the armies are pretty even right now, other than the extra colossus that um, Ace has right now. And the, let's check the production tab. Whoops. And it looks like another colossus coming out. It looks like he. Nope. Maybe he will. Yeah, it looks like he is going to be moving out soon. Right now. Maybe not. I don't know. It, it looks like he's kind of iffy. So wisely, he sends two stalkers out to. Probably go check out on his army and see what he's got. Oh, no, he's misbringing everything. It is always a good idea before an attack to send some sort of... Some sort of scout. Looks like he's doing the exact same thing, too. We're gonna see this huge army in just a second. And realizing that there's two Colossus, there's two Stalkers, and the Observer are going to back out, even though the Observer really isn't in any threat without another Observer on Ace's side. And it doesn't look like White Ra White ugh, Duckload Ra is really focusing anything on um, gateway units right now. He's mainly trying to get his Colossus out. And it looks like he's going to push out a little bit. And Duckload really Oh, I didn't even realize this. He hasn't a um, Ace has an observer in here. He does see that they moved out, so he's probably thinking right now that they're going out for an attack, which they in fact are. And it looks like they're both both sides are gonna meet into the middle of the middle of the map. I don't know what he's doing with those stalkers. Looks like he's just gonna poke his head out. And let's see what Ace is up to. Keeping a stalker at the Zelnaga. And bringing out a few guys. And it looks like he's spreading out his army pretty well. It's trying to make sure that they can the splash damage just doesn't do as much as it can. Good thing there's no upgrade for splash extra splash damage. Check the units. Three colossus to three colossus. And it's about to be four to three colossus. One immortal. And it does look like for the most part. I guess you could say that they're still pretty even, but for the most part. Uh duckload is probably ahead right now. And his expansion still has been spotted and starting to get some saturation up. And as well, this little pylon right here hasn't been noticed either by uh by Ace. And Ace really does love his Colossus. 12 minutes in the game at four Colossus, and that number is only gonna continue to grow. And I don't know what he's really doing right now. He's probably just poking out, trying to keep good um, control of the map. And an observer is gonna be sent over to the Zelnaga. And see it? Yes. No. <coughs> Excuse me. No, he doesn't see the stalker. Yep, now he does. He sees the stalker. Let's go into his camera. Just for a minute to see what he is doing. And, yep, he does see this little group of few, um, this little group of a few units. And I think he does kind of realize that he, I don't know if he does realize it yet, but seems like he does have a little bit of a tactical advantage right now. Nice spread out units. Lots and lots of um, zealots. 17 actually. Not too many stalkers though. Not a very stalker heavy match. If that makes any sense. And I really th Oh, yep. There's the expansion. I was just about to say. I really think that I should probably try to get an expansion out. And I don't know why he sent those four stalkers to their, probably to their deaths. Unless he was just trying to drag Ace out into attacking him, which he obviously didn't. And does Ace notice the pylon? No, he does not. And I don't know what those... Oh, there they go. So he's moving everything back in. And 
Looks like he's gonna send some zealots to go do some harassing the mineral line. It's always a good idea. No, you can't really take out any buildings. Definitely go for the mineral line first. And those probes probably gonna pick off a good maybe two or three. Depending on how good they might how good each um, each side micros. And there's a Colossus out, those zealots are pretty much done. And I don't think that they really well he got one or two kills actually, so. That one zealot did serve a little bit of a purpose to the Protoss army, and his death will not be remembered. Okay, so we have six to five Colossus. It looks to me like, just because of those extra nine zealots and that immortal, I'd have to say that Doug Lloyd is probably ahead. And I can tell that there will be a freaking huge battle coming soon. 21 units right down here in his um, little tabs, I guess you could call them. And it looks like there is going to be a reasonable si reasonably sized attack coming pretty soon. I am here in the shadows. And the stalker is finally here in the shadows, as you probably heard. And finally, his expansion is starting to get a little bit of saturation, but no gas yet, which I think is just a little bit weird, seeing how he is trying to get the losses. has one, one robotics and I guess he does have the lance. I think... No, maybe not. That seems like maybe that zealot did find that. Yep, he does have two robotics in the second one. Zealot finally finding this nexus. Oh, his pylons finally started to be foiled. Little flaws. It looks like his whole army is going to be moving out, possibly to attack. Maybe he might just be poking his head out again. But we're about to find out, and it looks like he, those two stalker, or that stalker in the probe, I mean, noticed the army and they are going to move out as well. It looks like he's going to try to send it down there to destroy that expansion, which he's probably not going to be able to do as soon as he sees this big army coming. I'm sorry for this little bit of lag, I'll probably just have to speed it up in the editing. Or to speed it up right now. I guess it's a little bit better. Nice some shields thrown out by the sentries, which takes off too damage anything inside of it. And those colossus are just taking down those zealots so fast, it's no competition. Finally, the zealots are finally starting to reach up to the colossus, and the armies are just. Ugh, the ace is just dominating this field right now. Those colossus are slowly starting to go down, and it looks like it is probably gonna have to. Well, I don't know. Check the units tab. Yeah, I'd say that Duckload... I don't know about this, but Duckload might possibly... Nope, Duckload is... Yeah, probably gonna lose this battle. If he loses that Colossus, it's probably over. Nope, he still has the Colossus. And honestly, ooh, that Colossus is probably gonna go down in just a minute. Two Zealots coming out to try to fight. That Immortal easily taking care of that one small one. And that Colossus just simply running away. Obviously, I mean, it definitely needs to, uh, <coughs> excuse me, go back and, um, retard the shields. Now, Duckload coming in with another Colossus, because I'm pretty sure all of his Colossus got picked off. And there are two more Colossus out in the field. It looks pretty bad for Duckload right now. This Colossus just easily taking care of any ground units that they can find. And it looks like this Colossus is probably going to go down in just a minute. And Duckload is warping in three stalkers to try to attack those Colossus, but it is still way too many Colossus. Two may not seem like a lot, but um, if you only really have one Colossus, you're at a pretty bad advantage at this point. And Duckload's pylon is going to go down and along, probably along with that probe. Uh, Another Immortal coming out, and oh, just a GG. That was a pretty good game, and I think that Ace's superior um, actions per minute probably won him the game. His average was 261 compared to White Ron's 137. And um, that was a pretty good match. Um, don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and um, tell me what you thought about this very first one. Tell me if I did good. And um, just tell me if there's anything that you think I might be able to improve upon. And don't say interpreting whether or not they're going to fight or not because that was confusing and I already know that. So uh, <laughs> I will see you later.